I'll give a chair here. All right, Julie, whenever you're ready. Okay, it's going to be a three, two, one, and you won't hear me no more. Hey, Krista. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> good, good. There you go. The man. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, Julie, count us down. You're, go you're on. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome. It's Tuesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern, and I am excited. I am excited to be with you all here tonight. Um, actually, I think Julie's still on, but I don't think she's going to be talking tonight. She actually, we had a little reversal. Uh, Roth, who runs all these things for us tonight, he has, uh, I think, uh, some Christmas event tonight. So Julie's actually taking the role of being the tech person behind the scenes. She nice. whole operation, but you know, that's a good example of what we do here. You know, the one things I always teach people is that in business, in, in real estate, it's not like um, so many things. I mean, in real estate, you really have to know how to do multiple things. I mean, in real estate, it's not like, well, all I'm going to do is just do this. That doesn't work. And, and guys, listen, we, we got a great company. In what we do, we've been doing this for 20 plus years. We've got thousands of deals behind us, and even at our level, with with many employees, and even our level, everybody does multiple things. You know, Julie would say if they're cross trained. My philosophy behind it is that listen, whatever it takes, you got to get done, and that's going to be a great theme for tonight, actually. Um, in terms of whatever it takes, get it done. Um, we we got some great, great, great partners of ours. Uh, on, on the line with us tonight. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, guys, you all are going to get inspired tonight. I mean, because these guys inspire me. They've inspired me for the time I've known them, a uh, fairly short period of time, just a couple months. But they are just an, an inspiring, inspiring couple. And, and you guys are going to learn a lot today. You get, and, um, but we're excited to be here, guys. Look, you know what we do here estate deals and we do it with partners literally all over the United States so part of the reason we do these Tuesday night uh, webinars is really there's two full, two reasons one we want to teach you guys something we want to give back we, we we ourselves you know have stood on the shoulders of many people ahead of us you know in the 20 years I've been doing this there's been many people that have invested in me helped me taught me mentored me and all this and that's really how the industry like this works we all give a little bit back and, 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 and that propels the whole industry forward. But the other reason we do this is because we truly <clears throat> ourselves want to do more deals. That's what we're all about. And, and, and so uh, at this point in our lives, at this point in our real estate careers, we do it with partnerships. I mean, that's really, you know, whereas if you would have talked to me or two ago, I would have said, um, gosh, 98% of the deals that I do come as a result of the efforts that we do and the things that we generate and the leads that we funnel through our system. That's no longer the reality. It's right now, probably about 80 to 85% of the deals that I'm involved with in or the deals that we're involved with are as a result of partners all over the United States. And, and so that's really the second reason we do this is we want, we're looking for more partners and we want you to get confidence in us through these Tuesday night webinars that we actually do know what we're doing. Now I could sit here and tell you that I've done thousands of deals. I got a 20 year history. You know, I'm still doing dozens and dozens of deals on a monthly basis. And, and with some of y'all that'll resonate, they'll be like, well, no brainer. This is who I want to work with. But some of you all, that might not resonate with. Some of you are thinking, well, gosh, here's another guy telling us how great he is, or here's another operation that got lucky. Maybe here's another operation that's got some funding source behind them that we can't get. Maybe they have an edge in us and all this. And none of that is, is, is really true. So let me try, let me try to hit, hit it from your guys' angle, the ones that are listening to us tonight. Yeah. See, in real estate, in real estate, and I'll tell you about kind of our history and how we evolved to be to where we are. And I think at that point, it all might make sense to you all more of, of, of why you do want to be one of our partners across the United States. But again, for many, many years, uh, we did our own deals. We even had a call center of people taking calls from sellers. 
I mean, guys, let me just say something like phenomenal. I, I, I brag on, on, on this, but I'm really bragging on my people. Uh, we were generating 1,000 seller calls a day. And I don't care if you're a brand new beginner in this business or if you're an experienced investor. You hear those kind of numbers? That's like phenomenal. Okay. I mean, we were hitting it on all cylinders. I was buying deals. We're doing deals here in Georgia. We were doing deals in Florida. We were doing deals all the way to the West Coast. But what started happening over a period of time is that just like anything else, this business has fluctuated. And so we're in an upturn right now. And so what started happening over a period of time, more and more people started getting to real estate. And so we just started getting tougher and tougher and tougher to find deals out there. And, uh, you know, for every, you know, for every $1 we were spending on marketing, there came a point where we we're spending almost, you know, several times more that. And so, you know, I was trying to come up with this idea. I was just trying to figure out, well, how do I, how do I get to do more deals? And then one day it hit me. I said, well, gosh, we, we've developed a very unusual talent in business. And that talent is to be able to do things remotely. You know, real estate is a very localized business. It's kind of like see deal, do deal, right? Where everybody always preaches. Hey, you find a property, do a property, but be there, be there, be present. You know, make sure if something happens, you could be there. If the contractor walks out, you can handle it. If the realtor says this, you can help and all this. But for the 20 years or so that I was doing real estate, um, I, uh, with my company, developed this very unusual ability to do things remotely. That's very unusual in this business. Almost you know, everybody talks about it. Well, I could do virtual deals and remote deals. In reality, you know, one out of a thousand people ever do it successfully. But we truly developed the ability to do things remotely. Like I said, we had offices here, Florida, California. So there were two things. One, I needed to figure out how, to, how do I get more deals? Because the business is getting more and more competitive. It's getting tougher and tougher. How do I, how do I put myself in a position where I can uh, uh, secure and do more deals? Two, I had this like lingering talent behind me that said, well, gosh, I could do deals all over the place. So one day, literally, I just went to the marketplace through my social media kind of like talking in terms of like, hey, if you're someone, someone, anyone across the United States and you have a real estate deal out there and you need to help getting it done, maybe you need money, maybe you need expertise, call me and I want to do a deal with you. And really it was just kind of, that's the cool thing about social media, that if you build a big enough presence, you can get feedback right away. You know, you could be like, whoa, that's way a bad message or whoa, that's a great message. Well, I started putting that messaging out there um, and it's resonating. I mean, people were like literally started calling every all over the place and like, Hey, my grandmother passed away or, or my uncle this, or my kids are moving or, you know, all this kind of stuff. And so we actually started developing a whole, uh, mantra around this. And, and it was very simple. The messaging was very simple. Hey, you find it. I fund it. And let's do a deal together. And it just took off like hotcakes. I mean, we were helping people. We were doing deals like with everyday people across the United States. It was phenomenal response. We were loving it. Now, the one thing I didn't tell you during this whole conversation is that in the background, I also owned a traditional real estate kind of a training company, the guru world, where people would hire us. We would train them. And, uh, and it had nothing to do with our investing company. You know, I was investing on this side. We were training on this side. We had 60, over 60,000 plus people come through our training operation. Um, but the two never interconnected, you know. It gave me a lot of credibility on the, on the educational side, the fact that I was an investor. But, but beyond that, there was no real connection. And here's the reality of it. If any of you all that have been trying to do this business for any amount of time, you know, through webinars and seminars and books and tapes and all this and functions, you know this, that in this business, there's a huge disconnect between knowing something and doing something. I mean, it is safe to say that in this business, there are thousands, like literally thousands of people that come through educational uh, side of real estate and taught by, you know, I would, I would, put myself on a pedestal. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I mean, when I'm teaching this business, I know what I'm doing because I'm teaching what I'm doing. But then here's the reality of this business. Why is it that, you know, hundreds of thousands of people go through educational side and 
the very few people who become successful. The hidden secret in this business has always been this. There's a million miles between knowing something and doing something. I mean, you can get taught by the best, whether it's someone like me who knows what they're doing. You pick the best person. But the problem in real estate is that, you know, I tell you it's yellow off the stage and you go look at the house and it's green. You know, I tell you the contractor should charge you this much. And then in your little town, the contractor charges you that much. I tell you, here's how you get the job done quickly. And in reality, the job gets done slowly. And so because in this business, there's a million, million different things that happen in a real estate business. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we're still living it in ourselves to this day. I mean, we've done well over 3,500 deals. And, and to this day, every deal is unique. <clears throat> but that's really what happens in this business. People get in, they learn, they get head smart, they get book smart, and they get out there and they realize, wow, it's very hard to connect the educational piece with reality piece, okay? And so let me just tell you the course that almost all of us that have become fairly successful in the business take. We get in, we lose a ton of money, we're able to withstand losing a ton of money, mm -hmm. the time we kind of climb back up, and then we achieve a measure of success. That's it. I promise you, I don't care who you talk to in this business who's become successful, that is their pathway to success, right? You get in, lose a ton of money, make a ton of mistakes, able to withstand it, climb back out of the hole, and then propel to success. But that is not something an average person can do. An average person can't get in and lose a ton of money. I mean, I lost half a million dollars when I got started in business. And, and, and guess what? An average person can't lose half a million dollars. A person doesn't have the time it takes to withstand that. So you lack the money, you lack the experience, you lack the time. And that's why this business is littered with a bunch of, unfortunately, unsuccessful stories. So let's go back to what I was talking about. We go to the social media, we start preaching this whole thing about you find it, we fund it, real life investor does deals and the thing took off. But like anything else, anything else in, in business, you have to learn what the market says. You know, one of the worst things in, uh, business owners make is they try to dictate the market or whereas a smart business owner is able to read the market, get feedback back, and then based upon that feedback, make decisions. And so here's what started happening over a period of time as we went with this whole, you find it, I fund the concept. We started realizing, here's what the market started saying. Pete, we love this whole thing. We love that somebody's actually going to back us, give us the money, give us the tools, give us the experience, help us fix it. But we don't know how to find it. We don't know what it takes to get out there and do this whole thing. So the market came back to us and said this, hey, if you could teach us how to do this and then in turn still help us and support us, give us all your money, then we the idea. And one day it hit us. One day, literally, it's like a lights went off. We said, listen, we've got this educational company here that has the ability to teach. Why not combine the educational piece with the investment piece? Guys, and that's when this whole thing took off. And so the messaging changed, and the messaging now is very simple. If you want to learn how to find a property, if you want to use all my money to buy the property, use my team to help you fix it, and then we sell it, then you need to be part of our partner-driven coaching program. And that's what this is. That's what this is. That's what Tuesdays are all about. We're looking for more partners to come in to our arena. Now, I want to get into the topic tonight, and I'm very excited about introducing our couple here tonight. Uh, but for those of you that are like, wow, that's cool. So he'll teach us how to do it. He'll give us the money. He'll help us market. He'll help us fix it. He'll help us sell it. That's something cool. Then you need, you need to make sure you get over to our website. Uh, that's coachingbypeter.com. And guys, tonight we got something unbelievable we're introducing. Now when you're a partner of ours, you're a partner for life. It's not like that usually programs where, well, you can do this for three months and then you're out. You can do it for six months. No. We are introducing lifetime partnerships. When you become a partner of ours through the coaching program, you're a partner for, for life. So whether we're going to do our first deal in the first 30 days or we're going to do our 20th deal six months from now or 50th deal six years from now, one time you get in, you're a partner for life. And on top of that, what we're introducing tonight, when you go to coachingbypeter.com and put your information in, 
you're going to get this unbelievable report where we detail step by step by step what it takes to be our partner. We're going to give you a bunch of testimonials. So guys, um, make sure you visit coachingbypeter.com tonight, re-engage, and let's do some deals. So anyway, so I'm excited. I'm going to tell you a funny story here. And uh, I got Chris on the phone. I got Antonio on the phone. But the what? See, live people. Because like, what did you just say? Did you say like, are we alive? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, this is, this is what I love about you guys. You guys are just so real. You've been watching me for 20 minutes and you're like, are we live? <laughs> that's hilarious. But that's, I got to tell you, I got to tell you how I met these guys and, 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 and guys, I just want to tell you, there's some people that I'm, that I'm really excited to be partnered with. And there's some people that I'm like really proud of. And, and this is a couple I'm really proud of. I mean, you know, the excitement comes across the board. I get excited when I do deals. So there's no one I really do deals with that I'm not excited about. Yes. But I'm not necessarily proud of everybody because some people, um, <laughs> Some people have some maybe potential advantages. Some people have been doing this for 20 years before they met me. And it's all good. We're excited. But, man, I could tell you, I am flat out proud of who I'm about ready to introduce you guys today. Wow. Um, I'll tell you, we met. I always tell the story. So, Antonio, if you don't mind, I'm going to tell <laughs> the man the first time. So somehow, okay, Antonio, now Antonio, correct me. Well, actually, why don't you guys, uh, you guys, listen, you guys are, you guys are on. Tell the whole world a little bit about your guys' self. Tell us a little bit about your background, why you all got into real estate, how we met, and then I'll take over the story. Because I got to tell you how, like the first time we actually met face to face, what happened. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Okay. Um, you you want to go first, Chris, or you want me to go first? Okay. Yeah. Well, we got started because it was always a dream of ours. It was always a dream of ours. And not only was it a dream of ours, but we found in each of our family sides that other people were involved in real estate. But it never quite like kicked off the ground. And it seems like our dream, dreaming it for whatever reason, is to take it to another level. And it has been taken to another level. But um, pretty much, that's pretty much it on that side. It's just been a big dream of ours. And I just feel like for what they didn't accomplish, like it's waiting for us to accomplish it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not on the skit or anything. This is just me. That's awesome. That's real. Antonia. Talk Tell me about your background, how you ended up in real estate. <laughs> all right. First of all, what's up, guru? <laughs> <laughs> I never know if I need to embrace this or. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You got to accept guru status. Okay. I got you. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, no, really appreciate you and your team. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk to um, people and to inspire people. Uh, hopefully, um, that's what we will do today. Um, we've had our challenges in this business. Uh, we, we've had our challenges in life. And uh, I believe that, you know, with us, I, I like, like I told you, like before, like you are answered prayer to us. You know, everything that we wanted, um, initially, this is what happened. We um, found a deal. Um, and... Uh, we had a partner and uh, didn't work out with the partner. He couldn't, he had to back out the deal. And then, man, we were just like, how are we gonna keep this deal? It was such a great deal. And we, uh, everything that we prayed for and that we um, uh, wrote down on our uh, sales sheet, um, we, we provided everything, 50-50 partner. Yes, and, I, and I had someone tell me uh, before it happened, he's like, that'll never happen. You guys will never find that. He's like, he's like, nobody's going to do that. And, um, and, and I, I haven't had a chance to really talk back with that guy since then. But, man, if he could only see us now, you know, uh, you know, five or six months later, 
and um, having the success that we did that, that we did have with you and your team, I mean, man, he would probably be astounded. He would he would he would say that that was a miracle. And I and I believe in miracles, and I and I believe that what we just experienced was like uh, like a, like a miracle, really. That's how that's how I feel, you know, because you know we don't we don't we we never we we didn't come with like a silver spoon in our minds or anything like that. You know, we've been through a lot. You know, we've um, you know had our, uh, like times when we we had to take advantage of like government assistance, and you know we just kept working and plugging away and and just uh, you know uh, studying and and adding value to ourselves and and um, and. And and just, you know, when you get like conscious of what you want, you know, even though you not, might not be there at the time, you always got to feel like you're there. And then next thing you know, it merges. And then the person that you need to meet shows up like out of out of the blue, you know, and um, and, and we were able to meet you through uh, some a networking contact who knew somebody that knew you and um, uh, uh, knew about your programs. And man, I'm 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 grateful for that day. So I I I think, like I hope hopefully a million people get a chance to hear this, you know, so they can experience what we experience, and um you know like even on our first deal, you know we lost money, so we were trying to dig out of a hole, you know. Just give me some a brief number. All do the first deal? Did you do it by yourself and all that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we did it. We, we did it pretty much. We went solo by ourselves. So now the thing that we did on that was, and, and partnerships is everything. This, this is more of a, a people business than it is anything else. And um, it's more about relationships and integrity and hard work and um, dedication. But um, that first deal that we did was um, in South Holland, Illinois. And, um, and we, we got it for a great price. It was a, a REO as well. So that's what we were kind of like focused on was bank owned properties, REOs. And uh, we got that property for 85,000. Um, the rehab was 34,000. And, um, and uh, so we ended up getting it done. We went over on the rehab, probably about 10,000. So we ended up spending probably about 45 on the rehab just because of the length of time that it took us to finish it because of the, uh, the contractor that we hired. He, you know, he was pretty much like a scam artist. So, and, uh, and then we had to separate ways with him, like uh, probably about two months into the deal when we noticed that nothing was getting done, you know, and uh, he, he was starting at 10 and, and walking out of there at two o'clock and we're like, man, you know, it's, it's coming time to where, you know, we're going to have to pay loan fees and stuff like that. We did a, a hard money loan. And, um, and it was just, it was just getting bad. It was just a bad, um, you know, uh, slow process. Like it was just a grind. And then when, uh, when, when we ended up having to like let him walk off the job, then I had to learn how to do a lot of stuff, which, you know, um, I, I'm not going to say that that was a bad thing. Now that I look back at it, that was probably a good, a good thing that happened, you know, because. Oh. And you were getting prepared. For uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. Because I knew I knew nothing. I didn't. Um, I mean, I've always been curious about how to, you know, uh, pick up a hammer and do uh, different things like that. And um, I, I had just brought my first drill doing this property. And uh, <laughs> and uh, man, next thing you know, I was building concrete piers. I was varnishing uh, wood. I was installing uh, stair treads, flooring. All, all this stuff, uh, drywall, everything. I, I learned it, you know, and um, but then I learned how to like price materials and stuff. So it was, a, it, I mean, I, I guess you could say that was part of my education too, to learn and to be yeah. in it. But you gotta, I, I would recommend anybody to just go ahead and get in it, you know, and get started. And but if uh, but if you are gonna get started, having having a good partner, um, like like you guys, you know, taking care of everything and. Uh, with Laura and Julie and Mary, you know, and, and then yourself and stuff, you know, like I learned a lot from you um, when you, you know, came in just to visit me, you know, and um, I'll never forget like what you told me, like they will stay from, stay with me for the rest of my life is that um, that you told me to be a good guy 
but don't be a nice guy. I never forget that. You know, I never forget like, you know, really good words of wisdom, like that really good coaching, because that's um, one of the most important things to have a mentor or a coach. Cause we went into that on our own. And then, you know, I mean, we, we got the property sold. Thank God. It took 11 months though. So we have. Give, a lot us, of the, give us the numbers. What did you end up all in to that deal? Yes. So we went uh, all rehab purchase all in. What was the price? Yes. So uh, rehab 85, uh, purchase 45. So we're in about 130. 130. Uh, and then uh, the closing costs, you know, we gave, we had to give uh, credits to the buyer and then oh, make the deal oh, work. Yeah. So, so um, we ended up having to buy probably about 12,000 in closing costs. So we sold the, we, we got the property sold for 190. So it was a, a $60,000 yeah. spread. You know, but we had to give the homeowner like twelve thousand, and then you can only imagine how much loan interest that was for eleven months on a hard money loan at eighteen percent. Yeah. So I was still able to walk out of the closing with a check for roughly about three thousand dollars. You know, and uh, isn't, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? But I was sixty thousand dollars profit, man, and you end up to three thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. <laughs> That's real estate, right? I mean. Yep. God. You know, you know what I call I call that spreadsheet investing. Like uh, yeah. The numbers in, you're like, wow, sixty thousand dollar profit. Yeah. You walk out with three thousand dollars and you're like, thank yeah. God, like I didn't yeah. bring three thousand to closing, right? Absolutely. Yep. But the good thing is also too is that the hard money lender, they also um released some of the draw funds because they had they put a lock on the draw funds. So yeah. we got another seven. So we kind of I guess you could say we made ten, but I, I, you know, I had, after that, you know, I borrowed money to keep the project going for my mom. Yeah. You know, I told you about that. And, um, yeah. you know, so I had to, you know, pay her oh, back. That, okay, I get it. So that's where that money was, not from my deals, but from the previous deals. Yes. Okay, because I, I, yeah, like when you're telling me, I'm like, why were you doing that? I was funding the whole amount. Okay, I get you. Those yep. the previous deals that you were, it, but, but that's reality. That's what I talk about, right? Uh -huh. You get hit, hope you'll to withstand it, Yes. You can't, you're out. Yeah. You're out. You know, luckily we were able to connect. So, so yeah. first project, not so well, obviously, you know, it came out fairly unscathed, but not as, you know, you don't want to work for free, right? You can work right. uh, with a lot less stress than, than the business. Uh, yeah. So how did you find the two deals that you not did? Yeah. Well, um, the, uh, I got to give my wife all the credit for that. Cause she was on the phone, you know, and she was, uh, you know, calling all the local banks, you know, and um, everybody just to see if they had like REOs. Cause we, we know that local banks don't always list REOs with uh, realtors. So we're like, man, you know, this could be a great source of uh, property. And next thing you know, about two days later, she gets a call back from the uh, vice president of the bank. And uh, he's like, Hey, you know, uh, we got two properties. And, um, you know, we want to sell them. You know, we, we're thinking about giving, doing a package deal on them. And then he told us, you know, the appraisals on them. And so we said, okay, well, we'll get back to you. So when we looked at it, we were like, wait a minute. Like, man, like this guy, he, 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 I'm, I'm like, literally, he was getting ready to give us about 100000 over $100,000 spread. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, man, we got to make this thing. We got to do this thing. Um, so we call one of our uh, local uh, private um, lenders that we know, and uh, he said, yeah, I'm on board. And I was like, okay, cool, we're going to wrap this thing up. And, and uh, you know, we, we, then we tried calling him back, and he wasn't available. He didn't call <laughs> us back, and then he called us back after, um, like, Mother's Day. And um, he's like, man, I'm sorry, Antonio, I'm not going to be able to do this one with you guys. Uh, we, you know, we were like, man, we just, we could see all the money flying out the window you know, over $100,000 spread flying out the window. And so what we started doing was going to read meetings, telling everybody that we had, we got this good deal. And then uh, through a gentleman named uh, Mike Perkins, who knew another guy named Leonard Pinkney, that, uh, that knew you, he hooked us up with you. He called us, we told you the numbers. He was like, man, I might like to do that deal. And then, um, and then we did all of our due diligence. So we had a package ready. We sent it over to your team and you. And uh, man, we, we got it going. We got to earn his money in, and and we didn't have to have any of our own money, and that that was just uh, such a blessing, 
you know, and I was like, man, like, like really, he made a real commitment to us, you know. Now, how much, I, I can't remember this, but how much money did I put down on these deals? Man, 5000 per property, 10 per grand. Yep. Yep. Okay. 10 grand, right. all this money, because, you know, that's how the banks work. I mean, they were giving us such a phenomenal deal, you know, that uh, it, was, it was more than worth it, you know, but I was glad that we were working with someone like you that knew that, though. That's done. No, that's all. That, that. Okay, now I got to take over here. So now okay. I'm on my kind of side of the story. Yeah. Oh, so Antonio gets a hold, you know, he, he's part of our program. Things are going good. Blah, blah, blah. He's obviously come out of some bad deals before. And so these two deals, you know, we're able to find them. He's like, looks good. I'm like, looks good. And so what I do now every once in a while, whenever, whenever I'm available, I'll actually fly out and meet our local partner. And it's nothing, <clears throat> nothing, nothing from a business perspective because the business side we do back at the office. You know, we do all the due diligence back at the office. We do inspections back at the office. So I'm kind of flying out there just to meet, get a feel for the partner, maybe do some social media and all this. Mm -hmm. I fly into Chicago. <laughs> this is so funny. How how warm do you think it was that day? Oh man, it was about it was not it was about ninety four degrees, yeah, and, okay. and it's real humid in Chicago. So <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So it was like I think it was over a hundred with humidity, right? Yeah, yeah. Antonio, and, and 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 look now, Antonio is making money. We're doing deals. I understand you have some more deals on, on in the work. So I, I hope yes. I'm saying this. Yes. So <laughs> we walk over to Antonio's car. And it's like 100 degrees in Chicago. And I, oh, man. And I, I, I'm at the airport. I walk from the airport. I walk to his car. Just that walk alone, I'm hot. I Like, I sweat a lot anyway. Oh, I'm thinking, I got to get me some AC here. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so, and so I'm walking oh, my God. into Antonio's car. Oh, my God. Windows pull down. Yeah. And Oh, because you know sometimes like when I get in my car and it's really hot, I'll pull the windows down to blow yeah. the air out, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm blowing the hot air out. And yeah. so I'm just pulling out of the airport, and now I'm like dying even worse. Oh now, my god! And I'm realizing, like, I look over at Antonio, and I'm realizing these windows aren't going up, are they? <laughs> I still remember the first day I met you. We were yeah. driving around Chicago. Yeah, yeah. You say 94. I say it was over 100. With, yeah. with, it was and, hot. And, and, you know, here's the reality of it. You know, we've done a couple deals already. Mm -hmm. We've split tens of thousands of dollars of profit. Yes. But here it is. Just a little while ago, I flew in there, and we were driving around with a car with no air conditioning on. I mean, and, and, and really the bottom line is that's just the price we pay. Yeah. And sometimes it's a price we pay even after we do a number of deals. I mean, yeah. I remember in this business, I had done a bunch of deals. I probably was doing my 20th deal mm -hmm. and, and I was reinvesting everything back in a business. I wasn't yeah. in my life at all. I was eating one meal a day at some restaurant or some hotel where I can get a free meal. Yes. I mean, that's just the price you pay, you know I mean? Look at this business and 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 they look at that day-to-day -day crap you know well i don't have air conditioning i don't have my wife supporting me i don't have money i don't have experience i don't have i don't i don't i don't i don't and they're like, well so i'm out and that's so stupid because mm -hmm. i just did in the beginning i heck i remember i remember one time when i got started i had to take this drive i lived in ohio back then antonio and i take the, had to take the drive from cincinnati ohio yes to, um I think it was Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland or Akron, Ohio. And I had just transferred myself out of one Lincoln Town car to another Lincoln Town car. Now, these were like 600 year old Lincoln Town cars. They were on the last leg, except the one I was getting rid of was beyond the last leg. Now, into it had one more last leg. Yes. And, and I was so broke, I couldn't afford the tires for the new car. Yeah. So my guys moved the tires. From the old car that was messed up, yeah. to the car that was a little bit less messed up. Yeah. And and I remember walking outside, mm -hmm. Cincinnati, Ohio, 
and it, the snow was, I mean, it was just, it was just me. I mean, I was literally the only guy in the street. Yep. And, and what happened, my new link car, which was a disaster, even though it was new, mm-hmm. it, it broke right there in the street. Getting out of it and like looking back at my other Lincoln Town car that had four uh, reserve tires, I guess I don't even know what they're called. Mm-hmm. Like these little tires on it. Yeah. <laughs> to myself, I was looking at that car and I had a four-hour drive in a wow. storm, and I remember literally talking to that car and I said, "It's you and me one more time." And I remember driving that night through the night, spinning out at least half a dozen times in the highway. Wow. Somebody was caring for me because I would spin out a couple times into the median, mm-hmm. uh, the, like the divider part, and somehow my car would spin back in and I would be safe. Wow. This, that's it. That's, that's the, this is why I'm so proud of guys like you guys. I mean, you guys are not looking at the price you're paying. You're looking at the price down the line. So anyway, so let's go back to that day. So I'm sitting there, I'm dying. We're driving, I'm just dying. I'm like, I'm ready to go back home. Come on, bring me back home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we actually stopped at a couple places, right? You showed me a couple of the properties. Yes. Oh, you showed me the two deals we're doing, right? Yep. Show me two deals. Uh, oh, actually, this is another funny part. And I hate that I'm doing all the talking, but, I, but it's just me, this is like so funny. Yeah. One of the things I told Antonio to do was to have three agents on, right? Three or four agents on standby, right? Yep. And I'm going to, you tell me your own interpretation of those three agents back then. Oh, yeah. Well, you're at a restaurant and you brought those three agents to me because I was trying to get like a bird's eye view on these deals. We're about, on these deals, we're about ready to spend 200 grand on. I was like, oh, I'm about ready to dump 200 grand in here. Yes. Give me some independent. What was your opinion of those three agents? Well, um, I think that, uh, you know, one of them was really good. Um, uh, the other one was okay, ended up working out pretty decently, but um, there was one that just wasn't prepared at all. It was just, it was really bad. And, um, and I, I had a feeling that that would probably be the case because when I, when I called her, she was um, like, well, hey, I got to be somewhere. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, man, you didn't go through these deals and look at what you, um, what you sent, like your information that you sent. And, um, and that, that, was, that really, I, I knew it was going to probably end up like that. But that was like way off. And I, and I was thinking to myself, like, man, like he's not going to do these deals. <laughs> it's, just so, it's, yeah. so funny it's so funny you're saying this because this is what happened. This agent that you're talking about, I was so upset that that I came up across country, that, yeah. oh, and I was meeting with this agent because I remember she sat down. She's like, "Well, what properties are we talking about?" I'm like, yeah. "I like from across the country." And this agent started, yeah. out, and I still remember picking up. You probably didn't notice this. You didn't know, but Antonio, I picked up the phone. I think I used myself. I went to the bathroom. Yeah, on my office, and I think I said something like. What the hell am I doing here? I'm, wow. <laughs> I'm meeting these team members. They don't even know what the hell property we're talking about. They're like, wow. she's on her phone. I remember she was on her phone. I would comp the thing out. I'm thinking, oh, my freaking God. Yep. I'm like, this is not going to work. Yep. What? But that was just another, mm-hmm. another piece that happened in this deal. So right, that's when we met the other couple agents, right? Yes. Yeah on the other two properties did we not yes yep yeah and that's when we met who i remember give me the names again yeah yeah so um uh lindsey evans uh, she, she sold one of them right or she well just- she sold one yeah she she got the uh the big one she sold she sold that one and, and then we had uh armand armand he sold the other one he sold the other one yeah yes yeah. so so along the way uh-huh. Uh, some potential. I was pissed. I remember I was pissed at you. I was pissed in my office. I literally I remember going about on Laura saying, "This is a freak. Excuse me. these uh-huh. people have no idea what they're talking about." Right. But along the way, we were able to identify a couple good agents, right? Yep. And we did that. So we went in. I ended up buying the properties, right? Yes. Yep. Give us a Cliff Notes version of what happened in the middle of those two deals, like before we closed them. What happened? Give us the challenges of the deals. Give us the challenges of the deals. Oh yeah, sure. 
Okay, so um, now um, when we got started, um, you know, there was some things that we needed to do uh, to the to the properties. Um, I'm just gonna think of uh, let's see, it was so much that we did, uh, but um, we had one that was at uh, 1351 South Carlove, and um, and we got that under contract in like two days, you know, because we priced it to sell. So um, so we got that under contract. Any challenges on a rehab on this one? Um, <laughs> Um, no, more. not that one. That one wasn't really like a big, big challenge on the rehab, but the other one. Okay, got it. Yeah, the other one was a, a challenge, though. The um, the property that was uh, located on Holman Avenue. Yeah, we, we hired uh, a guy and we contracted with him. We were supposed to get a wrought iron fence put up, and um, and we waited a long time. You know, he put up the, uh, the post, and um, for whatever reason, um, you know, he had a communication breakdown and, uh, and that thing, that thing didn't end up going up and we needed to get this thing finished within, um, like a couple of days. Like, like we were closing like the next day and, the, um, the appraiser was looking for this wrought iron fence so he could finish his appraisal so that we can close. And, um, and then the guy that we hired, he ended up backing out. So I was like, wow. I was like, man, you know, you supposed to have your guys on here. And then he backed out on us, and um, and so I was like, man, let me just start calling around and see if we, if I can get find a wrought iron guy that's in the is that's local, you know, that's close to the property, and um, and so that's what I did. I just got on the phone, um, and and called around. And this one guy said he could do it, and then another guy said, yeah, I could do it tomorrow, and and so, man, you, and you know, when you pour in concrete, you got to have the right weather conditions. So it was just a, a blessing. And I know that I believe that, man, that God works, you know, for us. You know, when we work harder, you know, we get luckier. And we got lucky with a great day. Uh, those guys came out the day before the closing. And, uh, and they were able to do the, they, they did the, the fence by 2 p.m. They, we had, they had the final walkthrough at like 4 o'clock. And, um, and then the next day we were at the closing table. We were sitting at the closing table and, and just everybody was celebrating. You know, one thing I love about you is mm -hmm. I don't think you even realize how positive you are. I mean, oh, wow. you have this positive spin on everything. So I mean, this is like, you just tell the story like it's like butterflies and champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let me tell you how it looked from my end. That story you just telling. I mean, there were a bunch of other stories. Let me tell you how that story looked like. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I remember that day. Okay. I didn't even know we're closing because we're, you know, we're doing a bunch of deals. Yes. But for some reason that day, I remember, oh, I know why. Because I was having that, I was having lunch with my dad. I was leaving my office. Yes. I was getting in my car, heading out. And Laura, who's like, you know, awesome. Yes. She was in the parking lot. <laughs> I just remember her on the phone. Wow. Parking, like literally like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh and, god and, and and i knew that day that one or two of your deals were closing yeah and i remember i was i was thinking i was like what i learned in, in in my real in my just business career yeah. is that when there's a hot situation some people are like i need to diffuse i need to diffuse it i've learned no you do the opposite you don't diffuse it let the situation diffuse itself so i actually left mm -hmm. I trust my people. They've been with me for years. And if I know a situation, I, you know, she has to feel that I have enough trust in her not to burst in there. Let me solve it for you. Mm -hmm. Confidence comes from me just walking right past her. And she knows, wow, Pete did this. Then subconsciously I'm telling her, Pete knows I got it. Yes. But about an hour or two, I texted her. I knew what the deal was. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew it was somehow tied into you. So I texted her. Yeah. Her. I said, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. And employees are learned to only give me one answer. They are taught to learn to give me yes. They never yes. tell me their problem. They know that you <laughs> oh, so she, she came back to me and she basically said, yep. And actually he said handle. She said handle. Yes. I'm like, perfect. Yep. But that's really what happened. Literally all through the, the issues, and there's always issues that we had in these deals, mm -hmm. is that the day or so before closing, all of a sudden, office gets a call says um on the appraisal or wherever on the inspection 
this house needs to have a fence put up. Mm-hmm. And office gets a hold of Antonio, and it's kind of like, Antonio, figure it out. Yep. Figure it out. And you know what you did? You did figure it out. Because not everybody could install something like that yeah. very quickly. Yes. And I could tell you, Antonio, I could tell you story upon story upon story upon story of myself, of my other partners across the United States that we do deals with, that we do ongoing deals with. Mm -hmm. And you absolutely, you guys fit the mold of ultimate success. Wow. Thank you. you. And and it's, you know, really, it's not a difficult mold. It's not a difficult mold. You know, people say, well, I don't know. No, you do know. You do know. The, 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 the guy that's going to be a failure, the conversations are usually based upon something negative. Mm-hmm. Or that doesn't work. I can't do this. Give me more of this, blah, blah, blah. It's just easy. All you got to do is just look at the conversations. Not, yeah. Look at how things are going. Mm-hmm. And people like yourselves, mm-hmm. I feel so much confident in you. It's that like you guys just get things done. That's it. It's just, it's nothing more sophisticated than that. You know, what's the difference between yeah. somebody who's never going to be successful and somebody who's going to be successful? The guy that's going to be a failure, it's always a reason why we can't get it done or why we can't do it or why I need more help or why, 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 why or poor, 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 or this, this, this. Mm-hmm. I'm successful. It's always like, we, we just got to figure it out. Yes. And I mean, I could just, I, again, I could probably write a whole book. I could probably sit here for the next hour or two and talk about the people that we're making incredible amounts of money with across the United States. Mm-hmm. It's always been just like you guys. It's like, okay, we'll handle it. We'll get it done. It, it ain't perfect. You know, I think I'm going to make a dollar, but I'm making 50 cents. Thank God for 50 cents. Yeah. I thought it's going to be an easy deal, but it's a tougher deal. Thank God we got it done. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just that no quit attitude. No, yeah. no like, oh, me or my, no is just we got to get it done it's just as simple as that and you know what i'm so so proud of you guys so yeah. proud of you guys as a matter of fact before i got in tonight or earlier today i was asking julie um about how the how you guys is uh how you guys are doing overall with coaching program and all this and she said you guys may have a couple more things that you you guys are have on, on a hopper with us yes but the one thing i'm confident is um no matter where you are in that process, there will be more. Yes. Because you know, it's like, I call it the silent killer. You know, the, 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 the loud killer is the guy that screams and shouts and tells everybody how awesome they are. And they're dead on arrival. The silent killer is the guy just internally says, it's done. Deal. It's done. Amen. One way or another, it's done. It's done. And that's what you guys are. You know, down deep inside, you guys made a decision that this is a done deal. So yeah. now we just got to get it done. It's not a done deal if we could do it in the first three weeks. And if we can't do it in the first three weeks, then I'm out. It's not a done deal if everything goes perfectly. And if it doesn't go perfectly, I'm out. It's a done deal. It's just no, no about it. And so I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. And I want to keep on bringing you guys back on because you guys are such an inspiration. Yeah. You, know, you, guys are, you guys are where I was 20 years ago, you know, just – Going through it, going through the motions, doing what you got to do. Yes. Some work, some things don't, but you just know long term it's gonna it's gonna work out. And uh, uh, it was so cool when I wired money out to you guys. It was yes. so cool. You know, I mean, I, that's one thing I still do myself is I still initiate those wires out because to me that's like that's my way of kind of staying in touch with with this whole thing. Yes. And I, when I made the wire to you guys, it was just like from a or from a hot day in Chicago to three months, <laughs> yeah. wiring something out in the tens of thousands of dollars. That was freaking awesome. And uh, you guys are absolutely a super duper example. You guys are really what this business is all about. You know, it's everyday people doing um, above and beyond things and getting above and beyond results, you know, that's this. And so you guys, you guys are, going to be an absolute inspiration, a motivation, and, and, and you guys are going to be a light to a lot of people. They're going to look at you guys as like, wow, they did it, we could do it. Yes. Well, that's why I wanted to have you guys on today. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you guys need to get your butts to Atlanta too. Right. <laughs> and, as I told you, get your butt to Atlanta. Yes. Oh, yes. You got me saying on that. You're with us with the whole team. Mm -hmm. and, then, and by the way, I'm going to give like a little selfish plug on January 9th. Yes. January 19th and 20th. We're going to have a great, great uh, live event here for two days. And if you guys are not part of that, you all need to be part of that. And, and maybe, Antonio, I'll, I'm going to keep on twisting your arm. I, <laughs> yeah. I, have, to, I have to really twist the Chris's arm. To, to, yeah. but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you can get away, I'd love for you to be here. You'll meet Julie. And obviously, you and I have already met. You meet Julie and the team. And it's going to be awesome. But, guys, look, this is what we do here. If you guys want to learn how to find incredible real estate deals, use my money like these guys did to, to – close on these deals, fix these deals, use my people to help you fix the deals. And then we sell them together and split the profits. Then you all need to be part of our partner driven coaching program. And again, tonight we're introducing this unbelievable thing where it's a life, life, life membership. When you become a partner of ours, whether we do first deal immediately or the 20th deal, 10 years down the road, that's it. Once you're in, you're in for life. And, and when you go put your information into coachingbypeter.com, you're going to get this amazing report where it details guys like these guys and other people and what we do with our, with our um, coaching clients, and it's going to be amazing. So go to www.coachingbypeter.com, put your information in, and, you know, we want you to be as, as much a success story as these guys are. Guys, I tell you what, man, I am, again, I'm just I'm, – I'm glad you all – came into our lives. I'm glad we made a ton of money together. And I know you guys used it to pay off some past debts and stuff. That, that's really cool. But what I'm really, really going to be excited about when you guys are doing these webinars for your own people and inspiring people and then become leaders because that's what you guys are. So we really, I really appreciate you guys. I know my team love every time Mondays I get together with my team and we were talking about our deals and every time Antonio's deals came up, they just love you to pieces. I mean, you you're a killer, and I'm, I'm really, really inspired. So anything else you guys want to say before we sign off tonight? Uh, yeah, we just want to say um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, uh, thank you to all of the um, participants that are on who's, who said, you know, congratulations and everything. Um, you know, I want to I, – I, I believe that um, anybody can be successful in this business if they, if they work at it, if they believe – um, if they can, if they, if they stay diligent, they could, they could succeed. And, um, you know, and, 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 um, you can learn from your failures and, uh, you can pickpocket failure and, and, and become successful. I mean, cause I mean, because we did fail, that's how we met you, Peter. I mean, honestly, if we hadn't failed, then we don't know if we would have even been even looking. And so now I believe that our success is, uh, like slingshotted and propelled because of that, you know, because of that, 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 that failure, actually it made us do business differently. So, um, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I really am. I'm thankful for that failure. I learned from it. I'll never be the same. And, um, and I learned from you, Peter already. And I know I'm learning more and more every day. Um, uh, we, we, you know, we, um, getting our assignments done and man, we just looking for great success. I know we're going to do at least 10. I know, I know you said 15, but um, I, I hope so. Hope we do. <laughs> but see that now, um, and I just got to uh, raise my level of expectation up too, even. And that's why another reason why you need a coach too is somebody to, that challenges you. I mean, when you say 10, they say 15. Mm -hmm. And they say, come on, go get it. And, um, and that's, what I, um, that's what I need. You know, coming from a sports background, you know, we do, that's what we need. We need a coach that pushes us too to become our best. Mm -hmm. So that's what I really want to say is thank you. And um, we are looking forward to doing these other deals. Um, and we're, we, st we stuck in the business because it's fun too. Even with the challenges, it's a fun business. It's a people business. We love people. Uh, we love, we love your team. We love Laura. We love Mary. We love Julie. <laughs> <laughs> everybody that um you know we, we got a chance to talk to Rafa. Everybody in the office is great, professional, supportive, and um and we're grateful. We're really just grateful. We're grateful. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, 
Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, guys, listen, we appreciate you being on tonight. Guys, we'll see you soon. We appreciate it. Let's do some more deals. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yes, good night. All right. <laughs>